everyone welcome to this updates video i hope you're doing great on the 22nd of april is celebrated as earth day it is an annual celebration to bring more awareness to the planet and uh, how us as humans can reduce the negative impacts that we have so uh, as a result the question of today's video is going to be inspired by earth day but as of right now we are looking at the infrared weather satellite of the north atlantic and we can see some activity offshore of the united states uh, so there's an area of low pressure developing associated with that frontal system out there and aside from that there isn't anything very significant happening right now and so the question of today's video well it's not exactly a question it's more of a statement it's a true false statement let's go fossil fuels which include coal oil and natural gas are renewable is that true or false save your answer i'll be discussing it later in the video so let's get back to the weather satellite right now. As we zoom into the Caribbean here, we can see that there is some activity in the South Caribbean offshore, Colombia, and also in the Eastern Pacific, there are some thunderstorms out there. And elsewhere, there isn't much happening, but there are some showers in the vicinity of the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and especially the Virgin Islands. So it's a rainy morning and uh, even some showers near uh, Tobago and uh, uh, in parts of northern Trinidad. So it's not very widespread. The bulk of the rain is offshore, but there is some rain in the area. And I know that many of you have been longing for it. So there is a little bit around. Hopefully we can get a better increase not too far from now. Now, as we take a look at the rainfall forecast for today, here we can see what Euro is expecting. And the more colorful the map is, more rain is anticipated. So over towards Central America, we can see here that there are some spots of yellows and oranges. So in parts of uh, Mexico, even Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, there could be some showers around. Most of Belize and the Yucatan on whole should be on the drier side. Same thing for the Cayman Islands and parts of Cuba, especially in the east. Now with that frontal system out there, there could be a few showers around parts of the northern Bahamas. Not much rain expected for the southern Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, though. As it relates to Jamaica, there's been some decent rain in uh, parts of the island over the past two days, but that rainfall chance is decreasing today. Look into Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, as I said, there is some rain in the area, so uh, there's likely to be more of it as we head through today. And as for the Lesser Antilles, most of the Leeward Islands not expected to experience much today. Same thing for the ABC Islands down there, but headed towards uh, parts of the Windward Islands, a few showers may pass by. I talked about that little cluster of rain near Trinidad and Tobago. Now to Northern South America for Colombia, parts of Venezuela, the Guyanas, there could be some periods of heavy rain, maybe at the, uh, the maximum of up to one and a half inch of rainfall activity as we head through today. As it relates to the wind, so when we see more of those purple shadings, that is indicating those stronger winds, those blues as well. So through today, winds are going to eventually kick up for the Bahamas, especially the northern Bahamas. And it will be a little bit windy in the east as well. Those winds up to 15, 20 knots, potentially some higher gusts but elsewhere should be a little bit more on the tranquil side as we head through today. The Saharan air layer. So that dust is in the Caribbean. It is blanketed in the Eastern Islands. The good news, it will be decreasing and eventually dissipating as we head into the end of the week. So this is the forecast. So now we can see that uh, various islands of the Eastern Caribbean, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, the Sir Antilles, uh, ABC Islands, and parts of Northern and South America are blanketed by that dust. Then as we head into Thursday, some of this dust is going to be reaching the Western Caribbean, but it's not going to be as dense as it is now. And notice that most of this is going to be staying to the south of Jamaica. So there may be some dust around, but nothing near as significant as what some of the Eastern Islands have been experiencing. So overall, there is going to be a decrease in the quantity of this dust in the region as we head into this weekend. Now, I am watching the Caribbean for a little rain surge that both GFS and Euro are showing. Let's head to next week. And all of these colors you're seeing, the greens, those pots of yellows indicate the precipitation rate. And of course, the more color we see, 
uh, more rain is expected for that area. So as we head into next week, go into next Tuesday, Wednesday, take a look at all of that rainfall over in the Western Caribbean. And eventually as we head into Thursday, Thursday evening, we kind of see this stretching through the region. GFS is showing something a little bit similar here uh, where an increase in rainfall is expected in parts of the Caribbean. And then we see that little blob right there could that be any hints of development it could i mean temperatures are way above average in the caribbean right now and once other environmental conditions are conducive once there's not a lot of uh, a lot of dust around and there's all that mid and uh, low level moisture coupled with favorable upper level winds there's no doubt we could see development but do we usually see caribbean development so soon not at all but it's just a hint guys and uh even if there isn't any development, there could still be that rainfall increase, which would be so beneficial to many areas. It's just that it can result in flooding if there's too much rain, uh, whether in a short amount of time or continuous heavy rain over a couple of days that makes the soil so saturated and unable to retain any more water. So it just piles upon the surface if it has nowhere to go. So We'll see how that goes, guys. Of course, I'll be keeping you posted on it through the week and whether models are consistent or not. But let's head back to the question, well, the statement of the video. Let's head to it. So it is fossil fuels, coal, oil, and natural gas are renewable. True or false? The answer is false. So these are not renewable sources of energy. Renewable energy sources are those that are constantly being replenished. For example, sunlight, wind, we can't run out of that. And uh, even geothermal energy as well. There's a lot of geological processes happening inside of the earth. So geothermal energy is always going to be around. Well, as long as earth is there. And as for fossil fuels, it is formed by the decaying of uh, organic matter over many years, thousands of years. And when we think of the rate of extraction compared to the rate of it uh, even being replenished, yeah, it is not at all renewable. And that is why many countries are opting to renewable energy sources, although they could be quite expensive to harness. So again, those renewable energy sources would be uh, wind energy, solar energy, and even geothermal energy as well. And not only because those are renewable and they will basically always be around, but because of the fact that it is cleaner, there's less pollution because there's no doubt that burning fossil fuels contributes to environmental pollution, uh, loss of biodiversity, many negative impacts on the environment. So that is some information, guys, and I really do hope you found this video to be very informative. However, if you have any questions, do feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.